Hey guys, it's Emily from Travel Her Style, and today I'm going to be doing a swimsuit tutorial, which is kind of my thing, so I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be making this tie front bandeau bikini top, which I'll show you, like, right now. Um, I want to make something fun for my upcoming trip to Europe, and something that's just kind of easy to throw on and wear, so that's what I'm going to be making today, and I'll take you along with me. Hope you like it! I'm going to show you um, all the materials that you need first. Um, first of all, of course, you need some fabric. This is a really nice swimwear fabric from the Fabric Fairy. They have a ton of choices. It's really reasonably priced. It's great quality and it's so like silky and soft and feels really nice to wear while still being like durable and it isn't see-through at all. So. I would really recommend that. The Fabric Fairy is their name again. Um, as you can see, I've already made a pair of bottoms to go with the top. These were really quick and easy to make. I think it took me like an hour and a half and all. So like I said, they're really easy. You may have noticed that I didn't use a lining fabric with these and that's because I couldn't find a gray one and I hate when there's like a different color lining sticking out. So I just used the same fabric and like I said, it's so soft that it doesn't even matter. And yeah, so let me know if you want to know how to make those, and I can do a separate tutorial. What else do you need? You need thread. Um, this is a 100% polyester thread, so there's that. And you'll also need some padding, um, especially for a bandeau top. You're going to want padding that is like the exact size that you want the final top to be because this is where you're going to get your structure for the top. So I have this really nice supportive padding and a bunch of elastic. This is kind of a mess. I always just get a ton of it from Joann's and I think it's like three or four bucks for this whole thing. So, yes. Elastic, this is quarter inch elastic, by the way. And I think that's all. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to cut the back side of my swimsuit and I'm actually using an old sports bra to do it. I'm doing this all pretty approximately. I'm not going to make it exact. I'll do that later on once I start sewing. So yeah, for now let's just get this piece cut. And this is what I've done with a whole bunch of swimsuits. So kind of just show you what the process looks like. Now for this part, you can see I'm using an old bandeau bikini top of mine, and I kind of like the placement of how this is in the middle, so I'm going to pretend that this is the tie that I'm going to be using, and pretty much just trace that, except not make it as long, obviously. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to make it about the width that this already is to start with, otherwise I'm just going to trace around here and stop probably where that pattern ends, but let's see. Here is the other length to compare. So now I see that I want it to go probably at least to here. So that gives me a good starting point, and once I have one cut, I'll just use it to cut the rest. So I'll show you the first one, and then you should be good to go. And then I'll just 
just cut across here and I'll be done. Now it's time to start sewing. When I cut my fabric though, especially for this back piece right here, I made it way too long. So, and I also realized that I probably didn't need to have this angled part right here. So put this on here straight and I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch straight down here, probably with just like a half inch or five, eight, five eighths inch seam. So I'll do that on both sides, both for the inner part and the outer part. Now all these pieces are the same, so it really doesn't matter what the inside or the outside is, but I cut these a little bit more exactly in terms of the direction of the pattern, so I'm going to make these the outer pieces. Hey, so it's day two of this project. I really didn't get anything done day one except for cut my fabric, which you just saw, so hopefully you have all of your fabric cut and ready, and now we're finally gonna start sewing. There we go, you can see my machine settings. This is a really old machine. Um, a Genome MyXL 4023, in case you're wondering. Um, like I said, it's pretty old, but it does the trick. So I'm gonna do that for both pieces. And I'm watching reruns of America's Next Top Model while I'm doing it. So it's gonna be a good day. have the sides sewn together. I'm going to sew these together too. So I'm going to line everything up, Oops. pin along here, and sew the entire thing. Okay, I just wanted to show you really fast what I do before I sew this together. So I will use the top that I already have and I laid it down and just traced it right on the fabric here so that I literally just have a line to sew along. Uh, Cause like I said, I cut it a little bit bigger than I needed it to be. Like here I'll be cutting off a good amount of extra fabric and here it'll pretty much just follow the lines of the fabric. But I like to draw it and just make sure I'm getting the exact shape that I want. So, yeah, I'm going to sew that together next. I've sewn everything together and it's starting to look like it'll be a bikini top which I don't know it's always funny when you start out and you have all the pieces cut you're like is this really gonna be anything but yeah it's starting to look like a swimsuit I'm about to flip it inside out so I'll show you what I do for that so yes I have it all sewn together I haven't cut off the excess fabric yet but I'll do that after I've tried it on and made sure that I like the sizing I added a little bit of elastic to the back and I didn't try to scrunch it too much. I just wanted to add a little bit of support again because this is a bandeau and you just need a little bit extra to hold it in place. 
so I just added it along the back. And now I'm going to seam rip here, and then I'm going to flip it inside out, put padding inside here, and try it on and see what I think. Okay, so please ignore the mess in my room. That's my working space that you've seen this whole time. I have all of my old gymnastics medals right here. So just ignore all of that. But I just wanted to show you how the top is looking. So yeah, I just flipped it inside out and added the padding and I'm actually pretty happy with it. I don't think I really need to change anything. So yeah, I'm just going to Flip it back inside out at this point. Oh my, my mirror is so dirty. Um, but yeah, at this point, I'm just going to flip it back inside out. I'm going to cut off any excess fabric on the inside. And yeah, then when I flip it back in, back right side out, these edges and stuff will be a lot cleaner and sharper. But yeah, other than that, I think it's actually looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so... I've done all of my sewing. Here are the bottoms that I showed you at the beginning. But here is the basically finished top, which is quite possibly the easiest swimsuit top there is to make in the world. <laughs> I swear, this probably took like an hour and a half. If I hadn't been filming, it would have taken no time at all. And it's really cute. So here is the final product. hope you like this tutorial. I really hope you try it out. Even if you're a beginner and you have no experience with swimwear, if you know how to do basic, like very basic sewing, I'm talking just a zigzag stitch, then you'll be good. And that's all you need to make it, plus all of the materials of course, which I can link below. So try it. Let me know if you do make it. I want to see how it turns out. So post it on Instagram or Facebook or wherever and tag me in it. And yeah, I can't wait to see. You.